Shalom guys, it's Jane, and today as you guys can see, it's a different kind of video where you won't be seeing my face, which I'm kind of glad because I look really ratchet right now anyways, so yeah, let's get started. So this video is going to be called, as you guys can see from the title, my top three photography apps tag, if it's a tag, uh, but yeah, I think I'll make it a tag if it's not already a tag because, you know, because I'm cool like that. So anyways, this is my iPod. Yeah, it's, it's an iPod, it's very simple. Uh, this is the skin cover thing, and uh, it's a panda, it's really cute. And yeah, so I was originally going to do the what's in your iPod tag, but I have way too many apps. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, sweat. Cute panda face. Uh, so home button. You guys can see here's my panda lock screen. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see more of the screen rather than the outside of it. So uh, just turn it off again. Uh, so yeah, let's just 12:10. So here's my home screen, and I'm really like folderized person. I like putting stuff into folders and. The reason why I'm not going to do the video is because I have a lot of apps, so even just in my photography apps folder, I have tons. So yeah, let's just zoom in to that photography app folder thing and we can get started on my top three apps. So I'm going to discount, exclude Instagram because obviously, you know, Instagram is obviously one of my favorites too so I'm just gonna do my top three top three favorite photography apps so the first one I want to do is definitely definitely Afterlight basically Afterlight is a photo editing app and it is it's really popular uh, it's one of the, I think the top 25 in the app store actually and it has some really nice filters it's very versatile and um, sort of really comfy and simple but yet it's very effective so, so yeah uh, let's select the photo album here there's some weird photos let's just go to wallpapers since you know there's not really weird stuff uh weird selfies so here is the preview and now with um, afterlight's new update you can swipe the preview so you can choose other photos i'm just gonna use this one so now it loads and uh, there's a picture of the butterfly, and um, at the bottom of the screen, I chose the white background, but you can choose like a darker background, they have that, is there are four, like, not four, how many other, six different sort of um, menus. So the first one is just a revert menu, so if you made any changes, you can always revert the photos. Let me just zoom into that. Uh, and the second one, you see with little like kind of scrolly things is actually uh, like there's it's like kind of like um you know basic photo editing stuff like brightness contract exposure uh, hue saturation all that neat stuff the third one is the filter so you have three a choice of sub menus which is like for example if you click original you could get original and you will get tons of these cool like awesome filters you can use why is it not scrolling so for my one of my favorite uh filters are well is coral because it makes it really cool it makes it really light and dainty yet it keeps the balance of really warm colors so there's a tons of filters you guys can choose from even in guests there's tons and tons and tons you guys can choose from it's really cool so anyways moving on the fourth one is uh, kind of like light leaks and sort of like stuff. So there's the dusty, which is basically dust, so it looks like your photos have dust on them. Like a really cool vintage effect. Light leak is also another effect where you can have like light leaks where, you know, when you take pictures, sometimes there can be some reflection or some stuff. It's usually more in the old olden days photos and the instant film is an in-app purchase so it looks like you have instant film this the fifth one is basically rotate crop reflect flip straighten blah blah, blah. and the last one is frame so you could have original which is just you can have Instagram so it makes 
fit into a square so you can post on Instagram. Uh, you could also do like all that neat stuff, like, you know, frames. And uh, there's some tons of frames, which is like the type, which is you could do like A, B, C, which is really cool. And yeah, I basically love this app because it's really, really nice. It's my number one. Number two, I'm, I'm going backwards. Usually they do from like three to one, but number two is, where is it? Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is, Repix. See? Basically, Repix is this really, really cool app where you can have like customizable brushes. And so for example, and then you can brush them, so. See, it's really cool. Let's see, I can't. And then there's like animated brushes like Magic Dust where, you know, it's kind of like that. And whatever you stop it, it sort of just adds the effect. My favorite is definitely the Raven one. It's really cool. It's like adds birds and stuff. Usually I would use it for sky, but there's also like smoke brushes, like glow smoke. And the reason there's a plus button here is you can change, like there's a variation of it. So it makes it red, and then you guys can have a different variation of the magic smoke instead of the first one. Uh, there's some really cool ones here. There's, you know, frames, you know, the basic editing, crop, filters. And it's a really nice app to add some really cool effects to your photos. Some creativity stuff. Yeah, it's my number two favorite. My last one is Pixlr Express Plus. Basically, this is another a really another useful app. Oh God, there's my picture with my friend. So here we have the basic menu of Pixel Express. Um, there is camera, photos, collage, and fresh, which is like the photo that you most recently had. So in your camera roll, so let's click that. So here I have a really cool photo. I oh by the way, the app for this is called uh, what is it called? It's called um, Sketch Guru. You can add really cool uh, sketch effects or watercolor. Uh, so taking this, you have different menus. And, oh god, you can't see that. So in Seasonally, they have this menu where they have seasonal apps. This one is Go Team because you know the World Cup's on. And yeah. So you have adjustment, which is the basic stuff. You know, blah, 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 blah. You have effects. You have different effects. And they're all free, which is really cool. And they're sub, sub menus, so you get a lot of different filters. Overlay is basically something, kind of another sort of effect where you can overlay the photo with something. So if you do retro poster, you can if you tap the first one, it kind of creates that cool overlay. So I like that. So I'll click apply. Borders, you know, different borders and frames. Type, which is different fonts, and you can it's really customizable. So if you, you know, you could get centered. And you know, some people like to do it like that, or they like it like that. And this is a really great app for adding text to your photos because I really, really like how customizable it is. And there's stickers, you know, like sunglasses and all that fun junk. So, again, thank you guys for watching this video. And I know it was kind of long and boring, but I'm congested and I'm <coughs> having this cough and it's really bad. And yeah. So thanks for the video recommendation by Kanita. Uh, she actually recommended me to do what's my iPod, but uh, I was like, eh, too many apps, so why not just do this? So if you guys, uh, I hope you guys have a great summer because mine's going really good so far. And yeah, I'll catch up with you guys next week, I presume. Bye.